Hi, this is Ali Arango of LittleGuyCGI.com and today I want to show you a uh, hopefully quick tutorial on how to do cartoon smoke uh, using freestyle in Blender 2.72b. So let's get started. Okay, if this is your first time in Blender, I recommend you go to File, User Preferences, uh, go to input and then choose select with left click uh, blenders default select is with right click and this may confuse you if you're coming from Adobe or other 3d programs okay what you see here is an animation that I showed how to do in another tutorial showing how to have uh, vehicles land from the air and in that original tutorial I have smoke coming out of the ship as the ship uh, comes to a landing and what I'm going to show you now is how to have a, a similar effect, but to have the smoke uh, look like cartoon smoke using freestyle. So the way we're going to do that is I'm going to roll the middle mouse button to zoom in. I'm going to hold the middle mouse button and shift to pan over. I'm going to select this UV sphere right here. Okay, and with this UV sphere selected, what we're going to do is put our mouse right here roll your mouse wheel you can also hold your mouse wheel down and pull to the side you want to go to this particle button right here so click the particle button and then after you click the particle button you want to click new to put a particle system on the UV sphere okay now that the UV sphere has a particle system when I go here I'll zoom back so you can see I click play you can see there's particles coming out of here okay so now what you want to do is scroll down to emitter object which you can see right here uh, for this Y you want to click here you want to set this to uh, point 0.5 and then for a Z, you want to set this to uh, negative 25.580. Okay, the reason why we did that was so that the particles uh, will emit down as they come out of the UV sphere. As you can see, they're doing now with those settings. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm just going to right click right here, put a 3D cursor here, and wherever the 3D cursor is at uh, is where objects tend to come into uh, when they come into Blender. So now we're going to press Shift A, we're going to go to Mesh, and then we're going to uh, select UV Sphere. I'm just going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit. Okay, now with this UV Sphere here, Pull this up some. Uh, we're, we're gonna, blah, what we're going to do is click the modifier button, click add modifier, subdivision service. Uh, then we're just going to press the Z key and then uh, choose uh, shade smooth. Okay, and now with that done, we're going we're gonna to go to our materials button. We're going to click new to add a new material. We're going to scroll down. We're going to select shadeless. Uh, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. We're going to go to Diffuse and we're just going to turn this all the way up to white. Okay, now what we're going to do with this sphere still selected, we're going to double click right here and we're going to name this uh, Sphere Emit. Okay, now what we're going to do is select the original UV sphere. We're going to select the uh, particle system button. We're going to scroll down and we're looking for the render part of the particle system. Uh, the default selection when you put a particle system onto an object is halo. We want to go to object so we're going to select here. Then we're going to select uh, where it says duplicate object. We want to select here and we're looking for uh, sphere the sphere emit that we named which is right here so we click there okay now when I press play and you see these particles coming here 
I zoom in, I'm going to hold shift in the middle mouse button to pan. You can see that these are actual spheres uh, being emitted from our original UV sphere that has the particle system on it. Okay, so what we need to do now is to increase the size of these spheres. So we scrolled up a little bit and we're still in our render panel in our particle system panel. If we look right here, remember this is uh, the render menu part of the particle system. If we take this, uh, take this size up to about 600 and we'll take this randomness up to a little bit more than 300. Now you can see there's a pretty big difference from the original uh, particles there. Okay, what we want to do now is to scroll up to the physics part of our particle system and you can see right here that right now it's set to uh, Newtonian. And what we want to do is change it to fluid. And then where it says drag here, we want to turn this up to about a little bit more than 300. And then for this dampening, we want to turn this up to about point, um, point 0.250, a little bit more than 250. And uh, actually, for the drag, make sure that it, it's it's a uh, zero point, you know, uh, 337 for for what I have here, and zero point 242 it's not you know just 242 it's 0 0.242 for dampening and for drag it's 0 uh, 0.337 okay so now we'll set this up to play again I'll just roll the mouse wheel back okay something else we're going to want to do is in the physics menu inside of the particle system for the UV sphere that's emitting particles uh, we want to look for where it says mass you want to click here and change this to 2 I'm going to play this again because we want this uh, the cartoon smoke to be going down into the plane okay okay now we're going to scroll up and we're going to look for the emission uh, menu inside of the particle system that's attached to the, the uh, UV that's emitting the particles out. We're going to click here and change this lifetime from 50 to 70. And this time it's actually 70 as in 70 before the points and not after. Okay, we're just going to play this yet again. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to have the uh, the particles as they come down into here. We want to have them spread out a little bit. So, uh, in the previous tutorial I did uh, showing how to animate this ship uh, coming in for landing, uh, you would select this, and then you would actually select. Uh, you would go here. I'm going to hold the middle mouse button and pull it to the side. You would go here, and you would select smoke, and then you would go to collision. And I tried to emphasize in that uh, tutorial that it was smoke and then a collision inside of smoke. In this tutorial it's actually you just select this plane and then you uh, click uh, collision. Okay now we don't have too much like I'm gonna play this again we don't have too much smoke going into this uh, plane right here but with the collision on when it is touching down you can see it interacting a little bit there and if you did have uh, a lot of particles shooting down and by some chance they were uh, bouncing up or bouncing off in weird ways how you would deal with that is you would make sure you have this plane selected you would click on the physics button you would come all the way down to where it says uh, particle friction and you would turn this factor up to a little bit more than 900 uh, 
if that still didn't give you the results, then you could also try increasing the uh, factor for the particle uh, damping. Just seeing how this reacts now that I turn that factor up. Okay, so now that all of this stuff seems to be uh, set up, we can click our sphere, which is what's being emitted from our original UV sphere, and we can uh, press M to bring up our move to layer, and then we'll just select another layer to put it on so it's out of the way. Uh, be aware that for your particles to interact with uh, this plane here, they need to be on the same layer, as in like the layers right here. For instance, uh, this plane and the, the ship and the UV sphere are all on layer 2. Uh, okay, so now that we have that all set up, we're going to click on our ship here. We're going to go to materials. Currently it has no materials, so we're going to click new. Uh, you're going to go down, select shadeless. I'm going to go to diffuse, turn this all the way up. And you can see here's this gray part right here of the ship. I'm going to click there. Same thing new. Scroll down. Select shadeless. Go to diffuse. Turn this all the way up. Okay, now I'm going to hold shift in the middle mouse button to pan just to get right here, which looks gray. Scroll this up, same thing, select new, scroll down, select shadeless, scroll up, select the fuse, take this all the way up. I think that is, I think that's, everything has its, the shadeless uh, material that we want. Uh, for freestyle on it on you know on the different parts of the ship already okay and now to set up freestyle I'm just gonna hold the middle mouse button here we're gonna go to our our uh, render button you're gonna come down or, or scroll down in your menu you're gonna look for freestyle if you don't have a check mark in there you want to make sure you have a check mark for freestyle you click this arrow right here you can see here is the line thickness for freestyle so freestyle is a rendering system that makes 3d basically look like a anime or a 3d cartoon so your default is one i personally like 0.8 or 0.5 so what we'll do now is i'll hit play get some smoke Now what I'm going to do is press uh, Control alt 0 to bring my camera right to this view. So now I'll click Render Image, and you'll see here's our shadeless material we set up. And you can see right here, Freestyle doing its work. I guess because of the screen capture, it's taking a little bit longer. Actually, a whole lot longer. There we go. Still working. Wow, there we go. And there you can see the smoke uh, right there, uh, which I think is very cool. You see this right here? This is the emitter. Let me show you how to get rid of that. I'm going to hit escape from here. I'm going to select that emitter. So we need the emitter to 
emit smoke to emit the uh, emit the cartoon smoke but we don't need to have this showing so to do that you just select the emitter hold your middle mouse button scroll over go to your particle system and you're gonna go down to your render tab I believe and you see here it says emitter so when I unclick this now if we were to render again now you'll see the smoke but you won't see uh, the emitter that the smoke is actually coming from okay guys that's it for the tutorial hopefully you thought this was as cool as I think it is uh, I originally learned how to do this off of a uh, Rylan rights.blogspot.com page so if you uh, want to uh, see more information on this I would recommend you you know search in Google for blender basic smoke and if you see right Rylan right.blogspot.com that's where I got it from he has some additional uh, instructions to go along with this uh, for all of you out there who like the videos on this channel reshare them thank you very much I greatly appreciate it and for those of you who are new to this channel, if you like the videos on this channel and you would like to see more, please subscribe. Also, if you find that these uh, videos are especially helpful to you, I now have a donate button on my uh, channel page. So uh, I would ask you to consider donating uh, to my channel. It would allow me to uh, have more time to uh, make tutorials. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for viewing.